Danny O'Neill with the roastery. Basically, you buy green coffee, and it's not too different than if you wanted to buy corn on the cob and something like that, but you're, you're, we're buying something and we're transforming it. Popcorn might be a good analogy. People, they don't care about the kernels of corn. They want popcorn. Grains of popcorn aren't going to do anybody any good, and then popcorn at the car wash isn't going to do any good. They want it sitting in a theater. They want it sitting at home. So what do people want and where do they want it? When do they want it? Then can you get it to them? Freshness is key. Key, key, key. Right now, if we do same day, which we do, you order today, we're going to roast it today, ship it today, you're either going to get it today or tomorrow. So we have this sophisticated map, and it's just Kansas City and concentric circles. And what we really want to do is concentrate on that phase one, you're going to get your coffee today or tomorrow. You just back up 500 miles, now we probably have 5,000 competitors that we didn't have. How many competitors do you want? So this is really a compelling point of differentiation, and it also speaks to every value that we have about freshness. But there's so much within phase one. I think we have 114 or 15 million people in there. There's a lot of room for us to grow within that. We want to grow 10 times where we are right now by 2020. There are aspects of size and technology that can actually make us better, more nimble, and quicker than we were when we were small. But at some point in time, whether you're baking bread or making wine, there's a point that there's trade-offs and you're not going to be special anymore. You know if it's handmade by scratch. And you could slice and dice and explain it scientifically and go through the ratios. But if you did a blind taste test, most of the time, scratch wins. And the scientists, the bookkeepers, the accountants would love to fight and argue about that. But at the end of the day, if you have a palate, you can generally tell. Is this still delivering on our values? Is this still delivering on our mission? I tell my folks, I say, I don't really care how sophisticated or how intellectual you want to get about it. I just look at our logo, our package, our coffee, in whatever environment that you're suggesting it be in. And I think, is that brand building or does that take away? We've turned down some significant pieces of business that would not be helpful to our brand and and that we didn't know anything about. And at the end of the day, it would have been just about money and it wouldn't have made us feel good.